very well to the body drain. That one is clean. 23 years old and he's facing a teenager at 19, but it doesn't matter when you dig to the body like that. Tim, it was like a human shotgun yes, it was. going off. That is the front runner for knockout of the year. And I don't know that anything's going to challenge it. It's the second time that Negrete goes down easily, but it's not counted a knockdown. And Murata working very well to the body drain. That one is clean. A straight left to the chin. Shaky legs, he's not right. Look at me, Jose. That's it. That's it. Absolutely great stoppage from the referee because Subaru Murata got on that left and put it right where it needed to be, Dre. It was a perfectly timed shot. Movement, movement, flick jab, boom. He froze Negrete, and then he came with a powerful straight left that Negrete never saw. But all of that because was because the feet were in place. Murata's foot was on the outside of Negrete's foot. That may not mean much, but it means a lot because it gives Murata leverage and it gives him placement. We can land that shot right on the chin. And those shots are very difficult to overcome and we see Negrete could not. And look at that left knee from Jose Negrete. Gonna have to get that ACL checked My out goodness. because that was an impressive knockout from Subaru Murata. Tiafimo Lopez for another belt at 140 pounds that Taylor currently owns. Of course, he had all four after defeating Ramirez. Oh, he hurt. And he gets him. He hit him with a hook. A knockdown scored here in round number 11 by the hometown hero. Comey using those ropes to help him stay up and to try to get Ramirez to make a mistake, to try to rip shots in there like you see right here. And then Ramirez hands to the body. He's still on oh, balance. He, he takes a knee. There was a body shot that came in there. Two knockdowns scored here in round 11. That's it. It's a knockout victory for Jose Ramirez. Close inside right here. Short uppercut. Might have been something before that. Let's take a look here. In the inside. Short, tight uppercut right there. And then a temple shot. And a temple shot from Ramirez. And then Andre, the end of the fight, when he had him hurt. Well, Ramirez is going to go back to what his bread and butter is, which is the body. Mm -hmm. There's a right right there. He wants to get to that left side and land that shot right there. And that's a shot that Comey has, has taken throughout the course of the fight. He just couldn't take it at this stage in the fight. He backed away. He said, this is enough. We see a good shot. He landed right there. But then you just see a shot that just grazed the liver. Doesn't have to be clean. If it swipes that liver and it hits a body yep. that's fatigued and has yep. been beaten up, at this, this point, is the response that you get. Let's see another angle right here. Oh, Boom. yeah. Oh, yeah, that hurts. Yes. That was full that speed, hurts. Drake. That hurts. Long right hand. Yigit goes to the body. Takes a left hand to the body in that exchange. Right oh. uppercut comes in. Right hand comes in and Yigit's in trouble here. Closing moments of round eight. Keyshawn Davis putting forth damage as it takes it to the bell in round eight. Oh! What a body shot! Brick City! He just got a brick to the belly! What a devastating body shot from Keyshawn Davis! Davis turning on the fire right now. Beautiful. Bolo like scooping left, right hook down to the body. My goodness, he weaved underneath the left hook right there. Boom, right in the solar plex. Taking the life out of Yigit. Sucking it right out. Ooh -wee. Right to the solar plex. I can't believe Yigit got up from that shot. Tess, they need a sign on, on Davis that says, do not motivate. You see what can happen. If you motivate, I'm gonna call him a killer. That's what he is, a killer in the ring. My Trying to close Woo! the show right here, <laughs> and that's it. Keyshawn Davis with a TKO victory over Anthony Yigit. Again, do not motivate this young man. Yigit has been enticing and trying to get this young man mad, and you see what can happen. I think the fight was stopped a little bit too premature for my liking. I know Yigit wasn't fighting back, but he was defend, trying to defend himself well. He was tucking his shoulders, tucking his guards up. You know, and look at his eyes. He looks 
perfectly fine right here, but the referee steps in and says, ah, I've seen enough of it. To that point, Yigit had absorbed 183 total punches, 46 body shots, including the brutal knockdown moments before that in the eighth round. Hassel's big, and he is 23 years old, and he's facing a teenager at 19, but it doesn't matter when you dig to the body like that. Four, five, six, seven, he ain't getting up. Harvey Dock can count to 100, and Rafael Hasso will still be on the canvas because El General Emiliano Fernando Vargas has done it again. A spectacular finish from the 19-year-old out of Las Vegas, Nevada. It was a first one, too. Good shot right there. Just hit, just hit him in the right spot. He's marching forward. Comes with a right hook. It just landed in the right spot, and... Good shot right there. Well played shot. Offensively, he was flawless tonight. King. And you see him trying to bring Janabek to him. And if Janabek poses, ooh. Janabek with the left uppercut. And then a series of left hooks that just flattens Butler. That quick. One mistake. It's going in. Calmly closing. Looking to put this thing away here in round two. Butler somehow still on his feet, blood raining from his nose. Oh, he collapses. Two, three, four, back. Uppercut again. Oh, my. What a devastating, destructive second round and onslaught from Janabek Alim Hanala. That left uppercut started it. Oh, that's brutal. Then on the another inside. one came in. Accurate heavy shots. Each one landed after the opponent. Check this. It's already buzzed Ooh. in her. Ooh. Ooh. Inside slip. Oh, okay. my goodness. Straight up the middle. Beautiful shot. Right well Butler. placed. Butler's what you call out on his feet. He's there, but he's not there. Oh. His mind is somewhere. Boom. Another good shot. Another accurate shot. Barely missed, but he's, the damage was already done. It doesn't take much to get your opponent to the canvas. Let's see how he finished it. Good jab right there. That felt like a, a left hand. Boom. Another jab. Left. The referee could have stopped it right there, but this is professional boxing, so I didn't think he would. Let's see the finish. Here's As the end of the fight coming up, Dre. Here it is. He stalked his prey. Landed a big shot. You know, if one big shot landed Ooh. just like that, he would have that kind of reaction from Butler. That's what the fans came oh to see, goodness. and that's what they got. Yoshino, he'll stick the jab hand out. He'll start jousting with it. Then he'll step inside, drop his head, or change levels, and look for the right hand. And Shakur meeting him with the straight left hand. Oh, and there's a knockdown scored with a left hand. Pinpoint accuracy and timing from Shakur Stevenson. Pattern, Yoshino stepping in. Little out of position. It looked like he was coming with a left hand over the top, throwing a jab. Shakur just slipping his head outside, throwing the left hand. You see him on his back foot right there. Beautiful, beautiful shot on the chin. You know, he's getting lucky occasionally. Shakur Stevenson isn't perfect. Everybody gets hit, but the fact that he's that close, he's in punching range, he will take some shots. He will. Woo! And another knockdown score. See the combinations right here for Shakur Stevenson. Coming around that guard, beautiful right hook. The combinations, just throwing, letting his hands go. That opened up. He moved the guards right there. Boom. Left hook, sitting them down like a child in timeout. Beautiful work right here by Shakur Stevenson, the phenom. Right hook scores the knockdown. Three punch combination. Just turning over that jab alone. It doesn't take the check hook for Shakur to have success. And now Yoshino tries to come in and place anything he can. Yoshino, even in some of his biggest wanes, have taken punishment. That is another shot, and that's enough. And to your point, Tim Bradley, the accumulation, yes. the concern of just taking the beating. Yes. 
taking too many heavy shots over and over and over and over. That's a good with those guys, Barry Hunter and the team, that they worked on that. I have to believe that that's what they specialize in. Ooh. Two punch combination from Navarrete. Oh. Oh, oh, he got caught. Wilson catches him. And now Navarrete's hurt here in round four. Wilson on the attack. Massive underdog has a big opportunity. Oh. was going to be looking for is the left hook. He missed the right hand. Navarrete is doing what Navarrete does. Being open, pulling back. Boom! Right hand that started the trouble and the left hook underneath. Navarrete lurching in. Bam! There it is. That's the left hand that wobbled him, hurt him bad, and then you see Wilson follow up like he was supposed to. But Navarrete rallied in the fifth. Rallied in the seventh. And then does that here in the ninth. Three, four, five, Wilson clearly damaged here in round nine. Blood coming from his nose. He hasn't taken big shots. Headshot comes in again. Another big one from Navarrete. Navarrete with a left hand. Sweeping right hand drives down. Big headshot. Wilson's in deep trouble here. They got to get in there. Big, big trouble. It could be ending at any moment. It's a lot of time left. He hasn't he's tied got, up he's got, a, he's got a shot with that left Does hook. Does he know how to tie up? And he knows it. He possesses the lottery ticket. Tie up. He stumbled back. Tie up, Wilson. He stumbled back. Tie up. They got to get in there. Headshots running down from Navarrete. Body <laughs> shot mixed in. It is over. It is over. In an absolute thriller. Navarrete is a three-division world champ. Just all the punishment from Navarrete soaking up in the body, in the head of Lamb Wilson. Beautiful one-two, wasn't a hard shot, but he had been softened up the previous two to three rounds from all the shots that he took. He stood straight up, Navarrete lunged in, landed right on the chin, and Lamb Wilson went down. And Navarrete knows how to finish. So he continued to press the action, and Wilson wasn't responding, and it was time for the referee to get in there because this is when a fighter can get hurt, when they're not answering the call, they're not punching back, and they're physically drained, physically beat up, and they have nothing left to offer. Navarrete is one of the best finishers in boxing. Once he smells blood in the water, he's gonna take you out. That cool pile driving jab from Arthur Betterbiev. Yeah, that stick is coming out to play from Arthur Betterbiev. There's a difference. His is a damaging jab, and Yards is a probing jab. Nice right hand, and now Yard is hurt. Arthur Betterbiev puts him on the canvas. That's the punch that just missed about 30 seconds ago. He's done. He is done. Look at the referee or the fight will end. He's giving every opportunity, Steve Gray, for Arthur, for Anthony Yard to continue. How will he deal with the onslaught from the beast? Nope. And Tunde Ajayi steps in. And Arthur Better BM does it again. 19 victories, 19 knockouts, eight championship fights. None have gone the distance because this man is a destructive force. An impressive victory uh, for Archer Better Biev, and we're seeing exactly how this fight came to an end, Dre, and it was the right hand. First overhand right, and then to the back of the ear. Tire him out. And, and one aspect of the game that we're not seeing a lot lately is the feint. I believe, I believe, like, and for Mick Conley, he should, he should start throwing some feints, even when, he, when he's trying to, you know, regain his composure and, you know, set his next trap. Don't just stand there and look at him. Throw some things and make you make them think you about you're gonna set up a trap. But do something. Oh, oh that shot hurt him. Colin is down in round five, and the towel comes in. Adam Booth has thrown in the towel. It is over. Luis Alberto Lopez is still the IBF featherweight world champion. Well, I mean, it only went one other round, and then it just stopped shortly after that. But that shot right there flattened Conlon. There was no question about it. Not even a count the towel comes in. Mm -hmm.
We've been talking about that uppercut, he the right, right into uppercut it. shot from yeah. the hip. He fell, he dipped right into it. The road warrior. He's gonna, him, he's gonna go down, boom. Like, Lopez's his eye coordination is on point, and he's not getting enough credit for that. Like, he, know, he knows basically where the place to punch is at at the right moment in the right time. And what will most likely be lopsided scores and a championship one for Nakatani. Absolute devastating. Here's what happened. My gosh. Watch his legs. That's all you need to know. Watch the legs. Flick jab. Stan getting range. He sees him coming in. Times him perfectly. Gets his head off the line. Looping left hand. Knuckles pointed down. Oh, my goodness. It's as big as it gets. It's as powerful of a single knockout punch as you'll see in the sport. Junto Nakatani wins a world championship and stays undefeated with this monstrous left hand. And I want you to see it in real time and listen to it. Here it is. Listen to this punch. away from that when it happened in real time.